Hey guys, it's me. Uh, lunchtime here on Thursday afternoon. So um, if you follow me on um, Facebook or Instagram, you're probably wondering why I've been requesting uh, lots of prayers and thoughts. Here's the deal. I, I can't really get too far into it, but I feel like I owe you a little bit of an explanation since I'm asking for prayers. A couple of years ago, my husband, myself, and my two kids, um, we lived in a house and we rented it. And we rented this house with the option to buy. Now, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to own my own house. Haven't done that yet. Um, sort of got used to renting and not having to pay taxes and not having to take care of lawns and snow removal and leaves and whatever. It was very convenient to rent. Um, but as I'm getting older and my kids are getting older, I feel like I need some kind of equity in my life. God forbid something should ever happen or whatever. I just, I want my own house. Okay. So anyway, we rented this house a couple years ago with the option to buy. So needless to say, we changed the floors and carpet and painted and redid the whole basement and long story short there were a lot of problems with the house as we started living there and paying rent finding out to make a long story short something happened with the furnace and we discovered once all the sheetrock downstairs came off that the entire basement was infested with black mold and that was what was making my son's breathing not good and you know you can kind of get the picture so we had a big mold company come in and do air testing and it was found that we had to leave immediately or we were all going to get very sick. So we did. We wound up living in a hotel for quite some time, which was terrible for the kids when they were, you know, I mean, they're not really old, old now. One is going to be 20 and the other will be 16. But, you know, a couple years ago, they were, my son was still in high school. My daughter was in middle school. Living in a hotel sucks for kids because, you know, it's like, how do you tell your friends you're living in a hotel? And how do you have friends over? And, you know, I mean, the emotional trauma of moving into this nice house, which we thought would be ours, and then having to leave and live in a hotel. And anyway, to make a long story short, we've been in this legal battle with this landlord for over three years now. She, no matter what the courts order her to do, she doesn't do it and um, never has and always switches lawyers and finds ways to get out of going to court and all this other stuff. So today was the day that we were going to do a mediation, um, second part of a mediation, where the first one, um, her attorney had absolutely no clue what was going on because once again, she hires a new lawyer. Um, so my lawyer presented them with all the evidence and receipts and documents for all this money that we put out and we were told to come back and they would have a settlement for us and um, needless to say bright and early this morning guess what got the phone call the woman's not coming and so therefore our case is going to immediate trial and a judge will decide what this woman's deal is. And you know what? I hope she freaking goes to jail for all this shit. I am so frustrated and so angry. And I can see myself slipping into um, a diet disaster right now because um, I'm pissed off. I feel it's completely unfair. I don't understand how the law allows this woman to just continue and go on and not do what's required of her. Um... I'm pissed off because I'm hurt. My kids have been hurt. My son suffered physically. Couldn't have a hard time breathing with black mold. Who the hell knew that this woman took sheetrock and put it up all over the place right before we moved in to cover up black mold? Who knew? Oh. Anyway, guys, I already made a, uh, made a statement to myself that I'm going to get obliviated this weekend. I'm going to go out and buy alcohol and drink it. And I'll probably be eating like shit because I am emotionally traumatized right now. I'm angry. I'm hurt. I feel like I want to cry. I don't even know how I'm going to make it through the day working. I just, you know, I'm seeing patients and I'm walking out of their room and going into break rooms and just breaking down. I'm, I'm like devastated over this whole thing. I just want it to come to an end already. I just want what's coming to me. I'm not even suing this lady for like emotional trauma or anything. I'm just suing her for all the money that I've put out. Um, and we have receipts for and canceled checks and everything. I mean, the proof is there. 
Not to mention all the other times of court where judges have ordered her to do things and she doesn't do it. How does this happen? How does this wonderful country that we live in allow this to happen? So, I'm asking for your prayers. Please pray for me. Um, just, I'm going to get all emotional right now and I'm very sorry. I'm just completely frustrated and I don't know what to do because it's just unfair. I mean, I never treat people like this. I would never imagine treating somebody with such disrespect and such, um, I mean, I have kids for crying out loud. How can you be so cruel? Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I want to go fucking dive into a pizza pie right now and maybe some beer, but I'm not going to because I'm working. I had a crappy salad, but I really want to, um, I don't know. I, I don't know what I want to do. So guys, please pray for me and, um, leave a comment below, Instagram me, Facebook me, YouTube me. I really could use a big prayer circle right now. A big hug would be nice. And, um, yeah. So, that's my story. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back into work right now. I just needed to come to you and explain to you what's going on. And for those of you who left comments of prayer and thoughts and inbox me and everything else, I love you and I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.